What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before I get going on our video today, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget about our live shows as well. We live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Then you can also catch me live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time with the singing OG. But let's go ahead and get it popping and get into today's video. And today, Canelo Alvarez fans and Javante Tank Davis fans, maybe we should all come together. And I'm totally bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Root for who you want root for. I just find it funny that people that typically rock with Javante Davis, they don't really like Canelo. And guys that typically rock with Canelo, they don't really like Javante Tank Davis. But the two fighters rock with each other heavy, though. Canelo Alvarez just came out and he was asked, yo, who your favorite fighter, bro? Who your favorite fighter? Canelo didn't say... What you would expect him to say, like, you know, you a promoter now. Maybe, you know, Julio Cesar Martinez, because that's your fighter that, that's under your promotional banner and shit. He didn't say what you think he would say. You don't think he would say some Mayweather shit, because Mayweather always taking shots at Canelo all the time and shit. But Canelo says, look, bro, I don't watch too much boxing. But Javante Davis, I like. Very talented fighter. And Javante Davis been done, you know, he wore the Canelo gloves and shit. Javante Davis, like, he 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 always picked Canelo to win. He said, man, I ain't see Bivol, but I got Canelo, though. Like, I'm rocking with Canelo. Like, I don't, I don't know what y'all talking about. So, bro, they like each other. The fans of these two fighters might not rock with each other, but the two fighters like each other, bro. And I think I know why. It's because they see they self in each other. <gasps> Knockout. You cannot compare Javante Davis to Canelo Alvarez. Javante Davis is fighting Roley Romero. Canelo Alvarez is fighting undefeated champion after undefeated champion. He's unified the whole weight class. He's a multiple division champion. Tank Davis is really only a one division champion. You can't count his regular belts knockout. I know you like Tank Davis, but don't be biased. Listen to the whole video, because all of those things is facts. You can't compare them from a resume perspective. Canelo Alvarez has the best resume in boxing right now, bro. Manny Pacquiao's gone. He done retired. You got to give Canelo that. And we give him that on this channel, because these are just facts. Now, y'all know I got my issues with them, and I criticize fighters when they deserve to be criticized, whether I rock with them or not. But I'm going to be fair, and you know, Canelo... Shit, bro, it's fun as fuck to watch them fight. Excuse my language. But I think the reason they like each other and the reason I say they see they self in each other is because they got similar styles, bro. They fight, they fight in similar ways, number one. And let me count the ways for you. Both of them are sharpshooters. They do not waste punches. They're highly accurate, and they trying to catch you with some hot shit to hurt you. They ain't, they ain't on no quantity over quality shit. They on quality over quantity. So they sharpshooters. They both like to press the action. Now, Javante Davis, he didn't press the action in the Esau Pitbull Cruz fight. He showed some versatility. Now, I would argue, and I would ask anyone with an astute boxing eye, Go watch about the, the two-minute mark of the fifth round to midway in the sixth round. Tank Davis started stepping to Isak Pitbull Cruz, and he started really moving him and putting hands on him, and then he hurt his hand, bro. And you can see it because from then on, that left hand, he stopped throwing it. But he got to a point where he was walking Isak Pitbull Cruz, and I have no way of proving this. This is just my opinion. I believe he would have stopped him if he didn't hurt his hand, bro. And I think we were on our way to getting that about midway round five, round six. He was starting to turn up. Just go rewatch the fight and let me know if I'm tripping or not, right? But Tank Davis and Canelo both are fighters that sharpshoot and they trying to come forward and they trying to press you out. 
they might drop around here and there. They both were they both were slow starters, but that's why I think they listen. I'm just telling you why I think they like each other. They both start slow, collecting data on your ad. Where can I hit you? What you really coming with? You know what I'm saying? And then boom, I'm gonna explode on you. I'm just figuring you out. So they have that in common, the accuracy, pressing you, starting slow. Then the head movement, bro. Because they both are shorter fighters for their weight class. Like, people act like Tank Davis is some big-ass dude weight-bullying guys and shit. Homie is five foot five, bro. He five foot five with a 67-inch arm reach. To put that into perspective for you guys, another guy that's five foot five with a 67-inch arm reach is Monster anyway, fighting down there at 118 pounds. And Canelo Alvarez is five foot eight, fighting at light heavyweight in this fight. Super middleweight the last three or four fights before that. Middleweight and shit. Like, bro, he's short as shit for the weight class he fighting at. He five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach as Canelo Alvarez. So they both have to get their job done the same way. They both have to close distance, use good head movement, take people's jabs away, counter over the top of the jabs, counter over, you know, go to the body to slow guys down that are trying to move laterally against them. Just they got to get their job done the same way. And then the counterpunching ability. Both of them are extraordinary counterpunchers. And they both have that power to stop you. Now, Tank Davis, I believe, is more powerful than Canelo punch for punch at his weight class. Knockout percentage, 24 out of 26 opponents. We'll see as he goes throughout his career. I'm really interested to see as he fights the fights that we want to see him fight. Will he be knocking those type of guys out? That's pound for pound type of shit. And Canelo is starting to stop shit. But, I mean, 39 victories, 57 knockouts. I mean, 57 victories, 39 of those knockouts, bro. Like, he got power and shit. And they both, we saw what Canelo did once he got Caleb Plant hurt, bro. Had that man bent all the way over, touching his toes and shit, bro. Like, just, just put him out of there. And we know the type of finisher that Tank Davis is, bro. So, when they look at each other, bro, I think that's where... For all my people that don't like Tank but like but like Canelo. For all my people that don't like Canelo but they do like Tank. That's where the comparisons are coming from from these two guys. And that's why they gravitate, gravitate towards each other. And to me, that's why Canelo Alvarez is like, yo, he a very talented fighter. I enjoy watching him fight. That's why Tank Davis is like, yo, Canelo is me at 168 pounds. Like, not saying he done accomplish what Canelo has accomplished. But they both fight in a very similar fashion, bro. Low punch output, but high quality. Extremely accurate. Shorter, diminutive, shorter, stockier fighters that have to close distance. Great head movement and great counterpunching ability. Both got great power. Both are trying to finish you once they get you hurt. So a lot of similarities between the two fighters. I think the difference is Canelo, um, I like his chin. And I think his head movement is on another level right now from Javante Davis. I think Javante can do it when he wants to. He showed that in Mario Barrios, but Canelo does it much more consistently. Um, and I think Canelo's ring IQ right now is higher, just simply out the strength, way better experience. Um, and he's, guys, I haven't seen somebody make Canelo fight their fight in a long time, bro. Closest thing I seen to it last time was Triple G. But they both, you know, they was going to war and shit. And Triple G stood his ground. But for the most part, Canelo is always comfortable in that ring. So I give him the edge with ring IQ and ring generalship. Javante Davis has better feet. He's more explosive and more athletic to me. But other than that, bro, hand speed, counterpunching ability, coming forward behind their counterpunching ability and their head movement, um, being shorter guys, taking away jabs and trying to, you know, work that ladder on your ass, hit you to the body, hit you up top, time your ass, all that shit, bro. They fight very similarly. So I just want to say, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if you if you, if you you like Tank, maybe you should start trying to like Canelo. <laughs> if you like Canelo, maybe you should start trying to like Tank. But, but, but that last part, though, I'm just playing, bro. Like, like who you like, man. Support who you support. But it's clear and it's evident. Based on when these fighters are asked about each other, based on what they say about each other, there's a mutual respect there, and I believe it to be there for all the reasons that I just gave you guys in this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Am I tripping? Am I right? Am I wrong? 
Let me know in the comment section. Comment down below, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Don't forget about our live shows as well. Live every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Live every Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Then you can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.